Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about e-signatures, digital signing documents. It's not really a video because of any particular reason. It's more of a plea and a cry to those businesses that are still sending me forms that I have to manually download from Adobe and you know put onto my desktop and then go to like each field and click the little space. It is driving me nuts. So I decided to do this video where I'm gonna go over Zoho Sign in particular, but they're all the same. Uh, Panda, Docs, and DocuSign, they're all very, very similar. I don't think it's a very sophisticated piece of technology, to be honest, but wow, the amount of businesses that aren't using uh, e-signing is unbelievable. So I just wanna show you an example over here with what I'm like talking about. So here's a uh, managing agency uh, for a property that uh, wants me to fill in all of these details. This is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a debit order form. So it's like they're gonna send this to every single client that they onboard. And I suspect from their volume, they said they have 200 full-time staff. So they probably onboarding maybe 200 people every month because every person for every building has to sign this form so that they can all contribute to a building fund. Doesn't matter the document in this case, the, the, the particulars of what I'm talking about. I'm just really talking about any forms that you have to fill in as part of a business sequence can be automated. Right, so Zoho Sign, uh, for example, is the one I'm gonna be talking about. I think it's great. I'm super bullish on Zoho's uh, uh, cloud um, offering. I think they've got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant lineup of tools for most businesses that like could benefit everyone's business. It's different to like Google Cloud and it's different to Microsoft 365 because those are more, they have tools, but Microsoft doesn't have a great inventory management system where Zoho does and Google doesn't have an accounting system where Zoho does. And now their accounting system speaks to their emails and their click, which is like their Slack connects all together. So it's pretty good. Um, so I'm really, really, really uh, enjoying using Zoho products at the moment. If you want to try Zoho Sign, do try the link below. Uh, it does give me a bit of a commission. So that would be great. Uh, right. So let's just have a look at this in like a few seconds, just because most of you maybe just came here to figure out how Zoho Sign works. That's that debit order form that I put in. Uh, I'm going to put... Uh, yeah, my email. Okay, haven't typed much today. So uh, you can sign like who's the, the signer. I am also probably should have just shown you the pricing plan. It's a little bit different where you are regional based pricing, but I'm, I'm testing it out on the enterprise plan. I am subscribed, but I'll actually go probably back down to the professional or standard um, for what I'm using it for. But for the enterprise, it's got the API access, which I'm gonna show you a little bit about in a second. So anyway, you just put in who you wanna sign. If you wanna add another recipient, second recipient can do this or that. Email or SMS OTPs uh, under the customized section, you can authenticate uh, so that you know, you know who's getting the email. And uh, whether or not to use like, USB sign, so I've got one of these cool little USB dongles that I can sign. It's got my like signature built into it, so it's pretty cool as well. Uh, but anyway, let's just say uh, there's one signer in this case. So if I was Residentia or these, you know, this company in particular, I would set this up as a template and just have it ready to fire out to, to like, you could connect it to a spreadsheet, do the automations, but you could also just have this saved as a template. Uh, what you do have to do next is just the initial mapping of it uh, firstly, and it, uh, it's so easy. You just, uh, if it's email address, uh, okay, what's the, what's the first field here? Yeah, text, um, probably actually was full name, but anyway, let's go address, boom, put that there, full name, <laughs> it's that easy, and uh, signature down there, date, just, you don't need all of this like twaddle about like designed on this date by this person. And like, look, yeah, so they also, sorry, that was rude. <laughs> they also have um, a place where uh, it looks like, okay, reference number. So this could all be pre-inserted and then assisted by. So in this case, as soon as I've signed it, it should just, you can set it up on uh, to go to the next person automatically. So uh, you set the sequence, so I sign it, then it goes to the account manager and then they sign it. And then it goes to the filing lady who doesn't have to sign it, but she can get it. Uh, so it's, it's really, 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 really powerful. 
Uh, then when we send it, it's going to just get uh, sent. Look, obviously it's not fully uh, complete. And let's load these up. Uh, it should come through any second. Did I send it? Yes, I have sent it. And here we go. Start signing. It's got the details, who sent it, the document name, a lot of customizability as well. Proceed to document. So now this is me as a customer getting this. Yes, I confirm to use uh, e-signatures. My name's already filled in uh, because I'm signed into Zoho. Address, I can put in any details there and the dates automatically. Uh, okay, so I can select the date. There's also a signed date. I should have used that rather. Select a signature, draw, upload, whatever I want to do. And uh, either I can sign it by USB token or Zoho sign, depending on what they allow. And I'll get to some of the integrations in a second as well. So I'm just going to sign it with Zoho sign. Boom, it's done. And in this case, I can have a whole sequence of things happening. I can have this automated so that I pick up automatically when it's signed, that it goes to certain people, that it sends them a hard copy. It's going to send me a hard copy by default. It is brilliant. And it would save so much time to your customers if you're in a business that has a lot of forum filling to do. Uh, I've specifically turned down multiple companies this year who I could have given thousands of dollars to in terms of insurance, uh, insurance packages, things like that, where I've asked for quotes and they send me a form to fill in. And you can start to see my like anguish coming out. But uh, yeah, I've, I've sent them things and then they send me back a form to fill in and I'm a busy guy. And now I have to fill in this like 10 page thing and I'm a little bit confused while I'm doing it. So I might have to pick up the phone and be like, hey, okay, so what do I tick for uh, this sort of question? Uh, it wants the details of this and, you know, and then I have to get clarification because it's not like there's no field uh, specific data. And like a lot of times forums come in these big, long things where you actually only have to fill in section one, two or three. And, uh, you know, whereas if there was a field, I would know how to, I would have to fill that in. So anyway, <laughs> uh, let's say, okay, so when it comes in as signed, uh, I think this is the one that's been completed and it's got all the details of the e-sign and stuff like that. So very, very useful. Uh, pricing wise, I think, I mean, this is super cheap, uh, DocuSign, PandaDoc are way out of, out of the park. This is particularly a South African price because I'm in South Africa at the moment, but when I had my VPN, uh, when I was in Germany, it was a slightly higher price, but probably relative to their economy is probably still pretty cheap. Uh, you can have, uh, it's cool. You've got all your documents here. You've got historical logs, things like that. Uh, you can have templates set up. So I've got some things here where I can just quickly open up a template and have it, uh, you know, have it sent and signed. Uh, so I could say, okay, I'm going to do this general no signing document. And here it is. I've got like a very basic template set up uh, where I can just like, I send it and then I just like, uh, either I set their d details, like I, this person ID, and then I just type in what we're agreeing on. I agree to have this person um, uh, a raise given, you know, and I can have these, and the title would be resolution passed for company. So I, then I've got a company resolution, or I'm buying a car or selling a car. I'd agree to sell this car, and it's just quick. Both people can sign in and it's done. So very, very, very useful to have some cool templates lined up. Then you have signed forms on the enterprise plan where you can like send out the form and then they can pre-populate it with details. And then that form comes, then the, then the signing part comes back to that same person with their details populated already, which is fantastic. Uh, further to that, uh, on the enterprise plan, I've just got it on like um, one of the reports. I didn't want to show you all of my data on it. Uh, luckily, I have no failed access things, but it kind of looks exactly like this. You have different, um, different, trends and numbers and all the different details about the documents who was accessed by IPs, owners, description, document types. Very, 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 very useful in a bigger organization, but also in a smaller organization too. Then have a look at all of this, all of these different uh, integrations that are available. So mainly, uh, so I'm using this digital uh, sign signature. I see they've got I haven't figured out how to, how to set it up, but they've got some e-signing on the blockchain all of these different things are variant to different countries where it's a proper standardized thing where you submit your documents to an identity provider. Anyway, I think the world is going this way because signing documents, I don't know, I've signed a lot of documents this year, more than any other year in my whole life. And 
it just baffles me how banks are sending me forms and then I just like paste a <laughs> paste a PNG of my signature onto a document, send it back to them, and I'm like they're like cool, this is signed, and and they have literally no proof besides sending it to my email and getting it back from my email. There, uh, that's a bit of proof, but there's no physical proof that I as a person actually signed it, and like there's not even a layer of security in that on their side. So I don't know if this is. A problem for them clearly not because if it was they would probably be a little bit more jacked up on their protocols and their things like that but very very interesting uh nonetheless but i think it's going to catch up because europe is a lot more strict with these kinds of things america will catch up eventually anyway going on uh here's an automation so for those guys that uh, want to automate their docu signing uh their e-signing and signatures i use make for pretty much all of my automations and it's immensely helpful so what you could do is you could get a doc i've got one in this case um it's a basic just okay i just scrapped together an, an employment contract and then these fields are all the different fields you can use you can see here you can use text field, recipient one, job title, initial, sign date, and then if you put like recipient three, recipient four, recipient five, it sort of does all of that detail for you. And then within make, uh, obviously this one, I'm just fetching the document, so I could have that. I could have start this with a spreadsheet where, where I get all the people, um, or I could just, let's say, get the specific document. This isn't a tutorial on how to do this, but I've put in my details, and then the second recipient to sign, and then look at all these other things that you can do. So you can watch when a document signed. So as it's signed, do this. Uh, send a Stripe payment link. Do this or that. Or as it's been viewed, then do this or that. So all of these different things are important. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other API things that aren't like default into Make, but you can also access if you you know really want to go into the documentation. So with all of these things laid out, and as I've put it today. <laughs> This is my plea to everyone running a business. Maybe I know it takes a bit of time to set it up, to get familiar with it, to like try out Zoho Sign or try out DocuSign, and like you're like, oh, hundred dollars a month for only a thousand contracts or something like that, and you're like, oh, that's a bit expensive. But just go back to the crux of it. What is your cost of acquisition? You know, like say you're an accounting firm, you don't need to enroll a thousand clients a month maybe you do um, but anyway you don't need to enroll thousands of clients a month but each client that you do enroll has a lifetime value maybe it's ten thousand dollars over five years or, or over two years or something like that so you have to make sure that that initial onboarding process is as easy as possible for them because especially collecting their debit order details their credit card details their you know for however you're charging them their onboarding information, their staff information, you don't want that to be a, a burden for your customer. You, you really, really want to make that as easy and as simple as possible. And I know I'm ranting because it just feels like businesses are struggling to adopt this technology. And hopefully I've shown you today that it is not that easy, it's not that hard to get started and to send out a couple docs. Don't switch off everything overnight and just do it this way in day one but do one thing so your client onboarding or the debit order mandate where it's super straightforward and simple it is all of these e-signatures hold up in court uh, there's um, proper governing bodies it's if anything it's more verifiable than you know how you're probably doing it at the moment if you're not doing any sort of e-signing technology so you're safe using it, it works reliably, you have document archives, you have storage, you have history, you have everything possible. So this was a very random video and it definitely comes out of the fact that I'm a bit frustrated filling in manual forms, but hopefully this has helped you a little bit and hopefully this can be something that you can implement into your business and you can grow your business because I'm Andy, I do business tips and tricks to help you grow your business and hopefully this helps. Till next time, cheers guys.